The subject of offensive rookies, man, where do you think we're at right now with offensive rookie of the year? Because early in the season, it looked like Jamar Chase was just going to run away with this award. But right now, he is no longer the favorite. He's plus 350. The favorite, Joey, is your boy, Mac Jones. And he's a heavy favorite at that, minus 500. And I think, I mean, we're recording this on Monday afternoon before the Bills-Patriots game, but this this award could be decided tonight. You know, if Mac Jones goes into Buffalo and comes out with the dub, I, I think Offensive Rookie of the Year is locked up at that point. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, no bias either. It's going to be hard for the NFL to give the award to a wide receiver or running back over Mac Jones, especially if the Patriots make the playoffs in his rookie year and he's been the best rookie quarterback by far this season. Uh, so he is a heavy favorite right now. Um, it, it definitely is the smart bet. I think the only player who has a chance if they turn it up to end the season is Jamar Chase, but he's been in a slump, dropped a wide open touchdown yesterday, which was definitely very tilting. Uh, that ended up resulting that was yep that ended up resulting in an interception. So shout out to Jamar Chase, but it's looking very grim for all of these other rookies in terms of offensive rookie of the year and. The Patriots are the number one seed in the NFL right now. If they go into Buffalo and, you know, make this statement game, or if they go into Buffalo and get a state a statement W in this uh, divisional game, I, I think it'd be hard for Mac Jones to not win it. So, but it's not worth betting on at minus five hundred. Yeah, and I mean, I agree that Jamar Chase is the only one. Who, I mean, he could turn up. He had a good enough start that his stats are going to look really good at the end of the season. The Bengals could go to the playoffs. And, you know, I mean, he definitely has had a rough month, but he could turn up towards the end of the year. And, you know, if they make a playoff run, it'll be interesting to see that. So at plus 350, I guess it's a decent bet. It's probably not a bet I would make. The only other player that's like remotely interesting is Jalen Waddle at like plus 10,000, who's really been coming on and his stats are going to be incredible at the end of the year. He's on pace for well over a hundred catches and a thousand yards as a rookie. So Jalen Waddle's looking good, but yeah, it's, it's probably going to be Mac mm -hmm. Jones. I mean, they would have to go on a mean losing streak for it to be anybody else. 